Alright, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 167 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand of It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighters. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. It's very tricky when he throws that body. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Punch over the top. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Good. There it is. There it is. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Okay, let's Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, huge head kick. Oh, straight right. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 
Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Final seconds here in round one. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion Good in the fight. making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. finish. Big elbow there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, big punch land. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a first bat. There's the kick. It's blocked. Just missed with the left there. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. A little single collar tie there. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that appearance. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Whoa, 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 he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Single collar tie now. How about those five minutes? Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All 
right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Straight punch lands. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. All right, single collar tie now. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but... Oh, Look at him whipping his hip into that kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Three minutes now to go in this one. Visibly limping here. Up, but man, is he hurt! A finish could come here at any time. There's no give on that leg kick. Relax, relax. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Leg kick. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up even high. But he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. That's a big strike right there. Try to establish that jab. No! Ooh, diving punch lands. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, and he connects there pretty oh, nice. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Final 10. Oh! Oh, he dove and he plans. Wow! The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29 27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon.